up YouTube today I've got something kind of different for you have you guys seen these I've seen these on a few different YouTube channels and I've seen them on like uh, Amazon and Banggood and places like that and it is a 1 12th scale tank now this thing is uh, this one is the ghoul RC but I've seen them under different names before um, I think WL Toys makes a version of this, and I've seen them as low as like 60 bucks. I paid $70 for this one, and it took forever. It took over a month to get here, ordering it from Amazon, so no doubt it came from China. So I just got this thing. I charged up the battery. Uh, I just fired it up at my house just to make sure everything was in good working order, and I brought it out here today to give it a little rip. Is this thing worth 70 bucks? I mean, looking at it, it looks pretty cool. It's got some scale looks to it. You know, it looks like the rip saw. And honestly, it's way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Like, it doesn't really feel as cheap as I anticipated. The wheels are plastic, the suspension is plastic. You know, there's <laughs> this is pretty plasticky, but but honestly, the, the internals feel pretty substantial. So, uh, the radio, it's pretty cheap, guys. I mean, this thing, you guys have probably seen these before. Pretty cheap, feels pretty flimsy, but we're going to give it a whirl. So, uh, yeah, let's check out and see what uh, this thing can do. So it makes a fair bit of noise. There's quite a lot of gear mesh and wheels and such turning there. So uh, let's see how fast it goes. All right, so it's not a speed demon, but it does look pretty cool. I gotta admit, bouncing along. I mean, how fast do you really expect a tank to go anyway? Um, pretty capable, you know, it's, uh, it handles uneven ground just fine for being 12th scale. It'll, uh, it'll go through the leaves just fine, you know, and bounce around. I gotta tell you, like, it feels better to run this thing, like, wide open because at slower speeds, the steering is a little strange. I mean, normally you would drive this with two sticks, um, but driving it with a with a pistol grip controller like this is, it's kind of strange at, at slower speeds. It takes a little getting used to, but when you drive it full out, it drives remarkably like a normal car. Um, but yeah, you get the hang of it pretty quick. And for things like rocks, I found that it works better if you, speed is definitely your friend when you're trying to, to crawl over stuff. This isn't really like, 
<laughs> See, this isn't really like a crawler. So if you try and go slow, so if you try and go slow over things, you know, to like just crawl, it, it doesn't it doesn't end well. But if you flip her back over and you uh whoops. If you flip it back over and you give her some jam, it does a lot better. So same goes for rocks and most terrain. Just keep the throttle down, keep it pinned, and it's surprisingly capable. Like I like it. <laughs> so you know, not a speed demon, not a crawler, but you know, it's something different and 70 bucks uh yeah i think it's i think it's worth it you know i don't know what the durability is gonna be like i definitely uh i definitely don't think you're gonna be dunking this underwater and going through big puddles um sorry if that wind noise is crazy it's pretty pretty windy and chilly out here today um but uh yeah keep it out of water and real thick heavy mud and i think it should be okay like I said, it's built surprisingly well for, for what it is. Like, I'm pretty satisfied with that. So, uh, yeah, 70 bucks. You know, I think if you're going to get one of these, like, you should probably get two. They make it in black as well as white. And uh, I could see with two of these, boy, you could really have some fun. All right, guys, over here in the mulch, I got something. Something's bound up there. Yeah. Uh, let's take it over and see what's going on with it. Alright, so it looks like the track just popped off. Um, in this thing's defense, I was going at full throttle and full, like, right rudder, so... I was, uh, definitely going pretty hard on it. And... The track just snaps back on. What's going on here? Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed <laughs> and film so you guys could try and get an idea of what's going on here. And, uh, yeah. We back in business? Oh yeah, perfect. So, uh, I've been playing with this thing for quite a while. The battery that comes in here is a lithium ion and, oh, it's actually kind of warm. What is that? That is a... Two cell lithium ion, 1200 milliamp hour. Now my experience with these batteries is they're usually not rated to whatever whatever they say it is. Uh, typically when I charge these, I can put about a thousand milliamps in it. So, I mean, even still, a uh, thousand milliamp hours on something like this, I mean, that's gonna last you a little while. Uh, so. Even the charger that it comes with, it just comes with one of those little USB dongle chargers. And it takes an hour or so to charge, but even still, you know, if you get 30 minutes of runtime out of a one hour charge, that's not bad, honestly. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. I, uh, I'm thinking about getting another one, so, uh, you know, we can have a couple of these things out bouncing around. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Something different, you know. If you have always kind of been interested in tanks, this is a good entry to get you into it, you know. Um, I've seen people modify these, you know, and, and just make them absolutely crazy. But my experience with modifying these cheaper RC vehicles from, like, Banggood or something like that, I never have good luck modifying it, you know. These really weren't designed to be upgraded. Um, so I usually just try and enjoy them for what they are. And this one's pretty cool, you know. There's For every cool one, there's, like, 30 bad ones. So I, uh, I just try and let you know the stuff that might actually be worth your time and money this one's pretty cool i like it i'm gonna keep it around anyway that's gonna do it for this video if this is your first time here welcome i'm glad you found it we like to do rc shenanigans like this on the regular so we've got some pretty cool stuff uh for videos coming up so uh you're gonna want to stick around and check that out as always thanks for watching we'll catch you next time Peace.